I made $426 in total sales after one week selling low-end sports cards and a few video games here on eBay. And in this video, I go through the day-by-day -day operations, the day-by-day -day sales and show you guys what cards I sold each day. And at the end of this video, we're going to break it down and see how much total profit I actually made. This is my daily grind. So today I've just sold the highest number of cards that I've sold within a day. And it's all thanks to just one buyer who went into the store and bought 32 cards. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and pick through the cards. I'm going to show you guys what sold and we're going to get ready to pack and ship it and drop it off in the mailbox tomorrow morning. Here's my inventory box. This is everything that I have listed right now on eBay. Uh, as of right now, my store is still small. I have about 600 cards listed on there and I'm constantly putting new cards in on a daily basis. Here are the cards that I just pulled out. Um, we're going to go through them. These are the ones that just sold today. And as you can see here, there's that big stack of cards that one buyer bought. And then here's a stack of cards that I need to take pictures of and get them ready and drafted to be posted on my store. But let's go ahead and pull through these cards here. These are all individual sales here. Someone bought this Zion Williamson Sophomore Stars. I sold a 1986 Fleer Artist Gilmore. I mean, it's off-centered, but I still sold it for like $5. Here's a Tim Duncan Fleer Rookie. Sold that for 5 Here's a Pokemon card, a Golurk V from Evolving Skies. Sold that for 2 bucks. Nice Mojo Rookie of the Year Favorites from Bowman Chrome of Dylan Carlson. A 2000 Tops Derek Jeter. We got some uh, WWE cards. This is a uh, Topps Heritage, Allen Ginter Bailey, and also uh, Zia Lee. So those cards, all individual sales, um, each single buyers. And then this big bad boy here are the ones that one buyer bought. He bought this whole entire stack of cards from me, which helped make my highest day of sales. Um, ever since opening the store so pretty excited he but he bought a bunch of Jeter cards some nice Durant's 2022 tops Mike Trout here's a 94 Fleer Ultra Power and the Keisha Kill O'Neal you got a couple of these vanity plates some more Jeter cards Kershaw another Jeter another Jeter a Griffey more Jeters so this guy just bought a whole bunch of Derek Jeter cards there's a dominance First year select, Mariano Rivera, Platinum Portraits, Derek Jeter. This card was pretty cool. Shaquille Neal Hologram, Future MVP from Upper Deck, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson. Also bought some football cards for me. Josh Allen, 91 throwback, some stargazing inserts here. Josh Allen and Justin Herbert. He also bought a Tom Brady as well from me. Unbreakable Silver, there's that Tom Brady I was talking about. So as you can see here, this guy just bought a whole bunch of cards so I'm gonna get ready to ship this out uh, or pack it up and ship it out to him um, actually ship out all these cards so we're gonna go ahead and go through that process all right so this is day two of my week's worth of sales and today someone bought out a whole bunch of cards they bought 15 cards off of me and then not only that on top of that I ended up selling another 11 cards so in total it was 26 cards sold so in terms of volume in terms of the number of cards sold we're doing quite well yesterday someone bought a large order of i think like 32 cards so it's pretty cool that cards are moving off the shelf and i need to replenish more of my inventory but right now we're going to turn around and, and i'm going to show you guys what cards were sold all right so these were the 11 individual cards that were sold we sold a uh, Dylan Carlson Refractor from Bowman Chrome. This is numbered out of $4.99. That sold, I think, for like five bucks. Sold this Charles Barkley EX2000 for five dollars. Uh, Steve Nash Optic. I think this is 2020 Optic Express Lane. This is a Silver Hollow. Sold that for a dollar fifty. Uh, Terrence Mann Rookie Mosaic for a dollar. Uh, Rapture Parallel of Don Russ, the Rookies of Alec Baum. Uh, 83 Tops Ozzy Smith. Base card, I sold that for two. Um, Ken Griffey, 92 tops. Uh, 93 Shaquille O'Neal. That's a second year card. This is a pretty cool one. This is a top Stadium Club Matrix from 1990. I believe this is 96. Uh, it's Chris Weber and then sold a couple of rated rookies. 
uh, from 2020, James Wiseman and Cole Anthony. So yeah, these were the 11 uh, single cards that were purchased. Now I'm going to show you the lot that one buyer bought that was of 15 cards. Okay, so here's that 15 card lot I was talking about. So this person bought 15 cards off of me. So that's pretty exciting. One big old bulk order. Uh, we got a 1990 Marvel MU or Marvel Universe Impel card of Spider-Man versus the Hobgoblin. He bought, uh, what's this called? Most Valuable Comics card of the Amazing Spider-Man. This is number 129 with the Punisher. I think this is the first appearance of the Punisher. Pretty cool card there. 2009 SP Authentic Clayton Kershaw. 2020 Panini Flux of Trevor Lawrence. I think this is from Chronicles Draft Picks. Yeah, Chronicles Draft Picks. First year select, Matthew Stafford from 2013. Silver Pack Nationals. Um, this is the 1985 style from 20, I think 2021 Tops Chrome. Uh, Juan Soto. I think this is 2006 Tops Chrome Drew Brees base card. Another first year select of Aaron Rodgers. Hot numbers insert of Dan Marino. First year select Peyton Manning. I believe this is Panini Illusions, the Sapphire Parallel of Trey Young. Tracy McGrady featuring Kobe Bryant, 27, 2007 Tops. Um, red, white, and blue prism of Larry Fitzgerald. Calvin Johnson rookie card. And another first year select of Drew Brees. All right, so day three is in the books, and today we sold a total of eight items. Um, as you can see here on the chart, I started this on Friday, March 11th. And we sold about $99 worth of stuff. Um, all thanks to one guy who made one large order of like 32 cards. Uh, the following day, which was yesterday, we made $68. And then today we made $54. These were these prices are all before like taxes, fees, shipping costs. So obviously the total net profit will be a lot more or less than what you see here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I sold. Okay, so these were the cards that were sold today. We got a Bowman's Best Dennis Robin base card. Optic Hollow of Chris Middleton from 2016 Optic. We got a base optic of Kevin Durant. A Silver Select Concourse of Jerry Rice. We got a White Prism numbered out of 149 of Marco Fultz. This is the Concourse version. As well as a 2002 Top Stair Jeter base card. And an Allen Ginter uh, Razor Ramon card from 2021 Tops Heritage. And the last item that was sold was a video game. This is Animal Crossing New Leaf for the 3DS. Sold this for about 20 bucks. I believe my cost basis on this one was about, I want to say like $6 or something like that. So not too bad there. Just when I thought we were done with day three, I did make one more sale. This is the 2021 Tops Fernando Tatis Jr. This is the 1952 Redo. So sold it for $1.50. All right, so day four is in the books and today we sold 15 cards. A lot better than yesterday in terms of volume, but in terms of dollar amounts, we're hovering around the same area. This is $50 worth of cards here that were sold. Obviously this is for taxes and fees and shipping costs or anything like that. But here are the cards that I sold. We got an Alex Verdugo 2020 Topps Chrome Pink Refractor for a dollar. For $1.25, we sold this blue bordered 2010 Tops Jimmy Superfly Snooka. Um, this one sold for $1.25. Got a couple cards here that sold for $1.50. This uh, recent 2021 Mosaic Shohei Otani. Uh, I think this is 2021. Yeah, 2021. It's a base card. Sold that for $1.50. Sold these two Allen and Ginter Razor Ramon um, from 2021 Tops Heritage for $1.50 a piece. Rest in peace, bad guy. He'll be missed. Definitely saddened about his loss um, today. Found out the news. Um, that's probably why those two cards sold. Sold this press proof blue from 2021 Don Russ. Um, it's a Larry Fitzgerald press proof blue. Sold that for two bucks. Another card for two dollars is a 2020 uh, 2019 Prism Silver Bam. Sold this for two dollars. 1990 Ken Griffey Jr. Base Upper Deck. Another one for um, three bucks. This is Dennis Rodman, Topps Chrome Base from 20, 2007. Um, this one's over three bucks. I don't know if I said three or two. Uh, sold this cool 93 94 hoops face to face insert of Shaquille O'Neal on one side, David Robinson on the other. Sold this for three bucks. Um, I put it at three bucks because there's a noticeable scratch on the back of the card where David Robinson is. Otherwise, I would have listed it for like four to five. Sold this for $3 as well. This is a 
Orange Cracked Ice 2019 Prism of uh, Patrick Ewing. I think this card is really cool. It has a nice color match of the, um, of the Knicks and has that cool Cracked Ice design. Just sold this not too long ago. This is a select company from 2021 Select LeBron James. That was sold for four bucks. Power in the Key 1993-94 Power in the Key Carmelo sold that for five. Devontae Adams Tops Chrome Rookie done in the 19 I think this is 1985 or 1986 Tops style um, sold that for six. And then this Gamers uh, Past and Present Jersey card of David Robinson sold that for eight. So. Pretty good, I, I I would think so. Um, but let's do a little progress check for the week, seeing that as we're in the middle of the week, let's just see where we're at in terms of total number of sales and net profit. All right, so this is where we're at right now um, in the first four days. See, as you can see here, we started this on March 11th, and right now we're on March 14th. Total sales is 273 and 21 cents um, after taxes and fees and, and selling costs, which includes shipping and such. Uh, we're at a net sale of $188.19. Obviously, this is before factoring in cost of goods sold. So we'll be doing that at the end of this video. Quantity sold so far. I've sold 90 cards total within this past four days. Of course, as soon as I'm done filming my portion of day four, we made two more sales right at the end of the day. We sold this Joey Votto 2020 Tops Chrome Refractor for $1.99. And we sold this Neymar Jr. Select um, Base Card for $2.99. All right, guys, this is day five of my seven days of sales. We just sold 11 cards today. The day is not over yet, so I think if the last couple of days were any indication we might get a couple of more sales trickling in at the end of the night but what we're going to do right now is i'm going to pull the cards and i'm going to show you what cards sold and then i'm going to get them ready to get packed out and shipped out tomorrow all right so these are the cards that sold you can see a Raphael devers uh jordan alvarez tops rookie green mosaic ben roethlisberger a fleer update ken griffey jr checklist someone bought this Carl Anthony Town Silver Prism right after his 60 point game. Finally sold this LeBron James Mosaic Silver Mosaic card, the Elevate insert for six bucks. Uh, Fleer rookie Tim Duncan, base LeBron, Tops Chrome variation Dennis Rodman. Finally sold this John Stockton Tops NBA at 50. That's been sitting in the store for a while. Bought that back in October of last year. And then sold this Ruby Wave or Red Wave. 2020 Joel Embiid Prism Parallel. Day six is in the books. Well, I mean, for now it is. You know, we're still early in the evening. Uh, we're still waiting for a couple of more sales that might trickle in within the next couple of hours. But let's just do a quick rundown of the cards that sold. Uh, Tua, this is a Gridiron Kings rookie card. A Joe Burrow Leaf Touchdown Kings. 2014 Tops Tom Brady. Is that 2014? Yeah, that's 2014. 2020 Tops Chrome, Mike Trout Base, uh, a Neymar Jr. Select, Playbook from Chronicles, uh, Luka Doncic. A buyer bought these two jersey cards uh, today. This is the Isaiah Thomas from Panini Black Box, and this is a Justin Verlander from Upper Deck X. And then the last card that just sold not too long ago is a Silver uh, Uncommon Tops Finest from 97 uh, base card of Sean Kent. So like I said, the night is still young. We still got probably about two hours left until the end of the day. So we'll see. Maybe I might add something a little more just in case we get more sales, but that's where we're at right now. Day six, tomorrow is the last day of this whole entire tracking of the seven days. So it'll be interesting to see where we end up at the end of one week. All right, so day seven is in the books. And today I made 16 card sales and one video game sale. This puts an end to the whole entire week of me tracking my sales and putting it up here on YouTube. Um, so what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you guys what's sold, what's come going out, and then afterwards we're gonna break everything down to see how much money I actually made in terms of net profit after fees, after shipping, and after cost of goods sold. So as you can see here, baseball is now in full effect with the lockout now done and baseball about to start. We made a lot of baseball sales here. Um, Jose Altuve numbered out of 99, Jersey card, Jordan Alvarez, Scott Brocious refractor, uh, Francisco Lador prism refractor, 
Gliber Torres base finest flashback, Xander Bogart's Prism Refractor, and a base Mike Trout 2021 Tops 1952 redo. And of course, we sold some basketball cards. Uh, Dennis Rodman, Ultra Star Power, uh, Curry, Alex Caruso, Pink Hyper, a base Chrome, Scotty Pippen, and a base metal, Anthony Hardaway. Two football cards here, Brady and Justin Jefferson, Green Foil, uh, second year. And two wrestling cards of Charlotte and Carmella. And on top of that, I also sold this Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds for the Nintendo 3DS, which is a great game, by the way. Bought this for 10, sold it for 30. Not too bad. Um, so as you can see, a pretty good amount of sales here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to break it all down for the whole entire week. And I'm going to go through my thoughts on this whole process. If you're finding value in this content, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. And now let's break down everything that happened this week. So after seven days, I ended up making $426 in total sales. Take into consideration taxes and fees, and that net profit ends up becoming $245. Minus the cost of goods sold, I ended up making a total profit margin of $110. Now, I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but you have to understand what we're dealing with here. We're selling low-end sports cards. We're not selling $100, $1,000 cards. And the profit margins are going to be small. And there are a couple of ways to kind of improve or increase those profit margins. And one of them is, is basically selling in volume, selling in bulk. And another way is to also try to cut down on your cost your, your cost basis per card, whether you're going to a card show and buying out someone's value box or buying out someone's collection. For me, this is something that I like to do on the side to kind of help um, generate an additional stream of income to help fuel my PC purchases. And maybe one day I will jump into this full time. But in, in the meantime, it's for me, it's more about, you know, just enjoying the process and this is a grind and you really gotta love the process in order to continue to see this through you know i really do think that selling low in sports cards provides great opportunity for for you as a side business as a side hustle or even as a full-time business if you want to know my reasons why and you're new to this channel as to why i think selling low in sports cards are, are great then check out this video right here